Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 13th of April up until the 19th, but I will say that this is the Easter holidays over here in England, meaning the kids are off school of course, so I do make these videos much earlier in that time, obviously to spend time with the wife and kids, which does mean that other things may well have appeared on the eShop since then. Anything that's missing from this video, please do stick it in the comment section and I'll make sure it's at the start of next week's video. So which games are coming out this week? Well, let's find out. Let's start with a few games that are already out, and the first of those is Frown Town. This describes itself as a light-hearted life sim style comedy RPG. It goes on to say that you've quit your day job to chase a dream of becoming a comedian in a city where laughs are both the challenge and the reward. You'll need to match your wit with the preferences of each of the clubs that you go to, navigating a variety of factors that can make or break your performance. You'll also make choices outside of the comedy clubs that will affect your career, and I must say it actually sounds quite interesting, it's certainly a unique concept. It released last week for £10.99, although you can get 25% off for that price up until the 29th of April. This episode is sponsored by the brand new release M Blocks, which is an arcade puzzler launching with a massive 80% discount until May the 12th, taking it down to just £1.79. This is one for creative types, as you can essentially create any project that you can think of using the 2D blocks, but there are also 96 different ones in challenge mode if you'd rather that competitive element with more gamification. This would have been a perfect one for our relaxing games video we did the other day, as it does also have a free play mode where you can just chill out and create things, which is facilitated by its soundtrack as well, which is very relaxing. It's just 225 megabytes. It released on April the 12th, and as I say, it has that launch discount down to £1.79, that's 80% off, all the way until May the 12th. A big thanks to the publisher for sponsoring this episode. I'll pop all the links and stuff down in the description. Then you have House, a horror adventure game where you play as a young girl exploring a dangerous house that's doing everything it can to kill you, that's doing everything it can to kill you and your family. It says that the house itself changes and reacts to your actions in real time, and you'll be in a race against time to save your family and yourself. There are multiple endings to discover, and a number of different items to find as you try to survive. It uses a pixel art style, and the trailer seems to have some macabre moments to it. This one released just over a week ago, and is selling for £11.99. Also already out, we have One Last Breath, which is a 2.5D adventure game set in a post-apocalyptic world. It says that after decades of pollution and greed, the planet is on the verge of absolute extinction. Humanity doesn't exist anymore, and the only hope is someone born from Mother Nature's very last breath, named Gaia. Her mission won't be an easy one though, as there are all kinds of mutants that will try to stop her in her quest. This one is selling for £16.19, or your regional equivalent. And finally, for those already out, we have one that released just a few days ago, this is Heroes Hour. This is a turn-based strategy RPG with real-time combat, where you take control of a hero exploring the world, building up towns, and amassing an army large enough to take out your opponents. There are 11 factions with special mechanics, strengths and weaknesses, 22 hero classes with special skills, a number of unique unit abilities, local hot seat multiplayer for up to 7 players, or you can play with or against the AI. It has a retro charm to it from what I can see in the trailer and a nice vibrant colour palette and this one is available for £15.99. Let's move on to the games coming out this week then and the first of those is Zookeeper. This is a low poly art styled game in which the player takes on the role of a zookeeper with your main task being to manage the zoo to make it as popular as possible. You'll be creating biomes for the animals, raising necessary funds, purchasing animal pens and organising it to make the best zoo possible in the region and as part of this you'll be needing to keep your animals in good health and building a team of employees. It also says you can bring back to life long extinct reptile species and place these in your zoo too, and I do like these management style games. We do already have a very good one on the Switch called Let's Build a Zoo. This one though is selling for cheaper than that, just £9.89, so it'll be interesting to see if it plays well enough to be a worthy competitor. <laughs> Next then we have Grounded. This adventure game seems you being shrunk and placed into what suddenly becomes quite a dangerous environment being that of your back garden. 
A number of creatures will be found roaming the yard in a multitude of environments, such as the depths of the pond, the caverns of the termite den, and even the sweltering heat found in the sandbox. It says you can play alone or together online with up to three friends, and there's a shared worlds feature where you can continue to play in that shared world even if the original host isn't playing. It goes without saying that this has that Honey I Shrunk the Kids vibe to it, a classic film from back in the day, and if this can pull this off properly, this could be a fantastic game. It's going to sell for £34.99 when it releases on the 16th, but it does have 20% available off of that price up until launch day. ...in Playgrounds mode. Do you have what it takes to make it big in this minuscule world and fend off its creepy crawly inhabitants? Go big or never go home when Grounded launches on the Nintendo Switch. Also this week we have Planets of Lana. This appears to be a 2D adventure game, similar I guess to the one I mentioned earlier, One Last Breath, although this one has companion based gameplay. It says you'll be solving puzzles with diverse challenges and quirky twists, navigating dangerous situations using stealth and wit, and using your reflexes to survive challenging action sequences. Also sounds a little bit like a game I played earlier this year called The Cub, that was a very good game actually, albeit this one does have that companion based gameplay as I mentioned, but it releases again on the 16th and it will sell for £16.99 or your regional equivalent, but it is another game that has a pre-order discount available this time of 10% up until launch day. Next we have A Tale of Paper Refolded. This tells the story of Lion, a magical character made of paper who can use origami to change its shape. You can transform into a frog, a rocket, a bird and more as you embark on an emotional journey to fulfil the dream of your creator, so says the blurb. It includes those paper shaped transformations, with each form that you take having its own unique abilities, challenges and puzzles to solve throughout the environment and a narrative it says here without text with each level having hidden collectibles to tell the story. It also says it comes with bonus chapters, three prequel chapters in fact, and a new character that are unlocked by completing the main game. I must say, whilst there are no real big named games coming out this week, I do like the concept behind quite a few of this week's releases, with this one being another one, the idea of changing shape via origami. This one is out on the 18th and it will sell for £12.99. The penultimate game for the week is Trackline Express. This is a train building game where you need to reach the stations while keeping your passengers safe from attacks and wildfires. It says that you'll be gathering wood, rocks, ore, coal and then having to transform them into various resources to create new buildings and equipment using blueprints that you unlock along the way. As alluded to there, the gameplay mechanic revolves around gathering resources, unlocking those blueprints, building various elements and then defending and protecting your convoy. Sounds like a bit of a hybrid between tower defence and resource management, so it'll be interesting to see if it does pull it off. It releases on the 18th for £10.99 or your regional equivalent. And finally for the week then, we have Corn Kids 64. This is a 3D platformer, as the title would imply, heavily influenced by the 3D platformers of the N64 era, and it has a low polygraphical style, with various options it says here, in terms of display, to allow for an authentic 90s experience, or you can just go for the more modern approach. There have been a few of these lately, and it's always nice to see another one come along to see if they can really recapture that classic 3D platforming era of the late 90s, early 2000s. And to be fair to it, this one is selling for quite a cheap price at just £5.99. It's going to release on the 19th of April. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases, do any of those games interest you? Will you be picking any of them up? Please do let us know in the comment section below. It's not the sort of week that grabs your attention immediately, I must say, a lot of the thumbnails on the eShop did look quite bland, but actually having read a few of those blurbs out there for you, 
there are a few that I do like the idea behind, so hopefully the gameplay will follow suit. I just want to give a shout out to eight year old Kellen, who I'm reliably informed is an avid watcher of our channel. That's lovely to hear. Keep watching my friend. We really appreciate your support and hopefully you've seen something in this video that interests you this week. Don't forget if you are looking for eShop credit to pick any of these games up, you can get your eShop cards via our website switchup.gg. Links down below. You get yourself 5% of your purchase price back in cashback that you can then obviously use against a future purchase. And there's also links down there to some physical stores with some discount codes to save you a bit of money as well as some that are affiliate links that does help the channel out. So anyone that uses these is much appreciated. A quick thank you to our patrons and our channel members for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.